In 1906, a dam was built below the boom town of Atlanta, Idaho to supply power to miners. At the time, little thought was given to a migratory fish called the bull trout. Consequently, it was cut off from its traditional spawning grounds upstream of Kirby Dam for over 90 years. But that may be about to change. The old wooden dam gave way dramatically. Did you see it fail? Yes. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't either. I looked at it. Polluting the middle fork of the Boise River with sediment and leaving the remaining residents of the old mining town in the dark. The new dam and new bridge look stunning. The product of a frantic winter's worth of work. But a new dam was built on the site in 1992. The new dam locks down tons of toxic sediments and keeps them from washing downstream. And now finally, a fish passage is being constructed to open the old spawning habitat to bull trout once again, for the first time in almost a century. But the big key is you know, whether or not they're going to use the ladder. You know, we can provide the ladder, but you can't make the fish from up the ladder. So we're just trying to do everything we can, for, you know, provide a ladder and bring some adults up here. But uh, it's still up to the fish. This will be our net for the lower boundary. Researcher Brian Flatter and a crew of fish and game biologists are attempting to capture adult bull trout on the middle fork of the Boise River below Kirby Dam. We go out in the water, snorkelers, and we try to spot the fish. They're pretty big. They're 20, 25 inches or so. And uh, if we can spot them, we can more or less guide the uh, guys with the probes that are electrofishing to the fish or guide the fish into our block net. Okay, we're on. The electricity in the water stuns the fish. And as long as the scientists are in dry suits, preventing water from directly contacting their skin, the men are protected from the shock. Hey, John, shut it off. A big bull trout has been spotted, but it deftly avoids being caught in the electric current. So it's time for plan B, physically hurting the fish into the block net. The water's pretty clear and you can't see them above water, but once you put a mask on, you get down in and you can see them from probably 20, 25 feet away, something like that. And they're pretty easy to herd too. They don't, they don't like to swim upstream. <laughs> right over here. I see him. Here? He's over here. There he is, right there. There he is. Where's he at? Right there. He's, 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 I'm running over there and he's running away as soon as I run over. Okay, hey, just turn. I don't know where the hell he went. There he is, right there. Coming at the net. He's at the net. He's in the net. Got him. Good job. Good job. Good job. The idea is to move the captured fish above the dam before the fall spawning season. In this manner, biologists hope to jumpstart a new population of migrating bull trout in their old traditional territories. Nice fish. Pretty. There he is. But first, since this is a fairly large fish, a radio transmitter is surgically implanted into its abdomen. Then, for two years, researchers will be able to track its movements up and down the river system. That's what it sounds like when it's uh, transmitting. Bull trout are a, a pretty good indicator of what's going on in general in the whole system. You know, they're real unique fish. They have a pretty unique life history. They need real clean, clean areas, uh, cold water, clean cold water. So if those fish are going away, it's a pretty good indicator there's something going on in the system. The fish is driven above Kirby Dam to the Yuba River to be released. It's a strong fish and appears to be recovering well from its recent surgery. Run down the creek. It's a good spot up here. You know, there haven't been any up here in, well, almost 90 years, so. Oh, it bit me. Pretty neat. Get a couple more up here so it's not too lonely. 